the crowd, we are nothing. When you're in the locker room, you're just thinking how nervous you are. I'm breathing heavy, my heart's racing. When your music hits and you go through the curtain, the crowd reacts. There's no better feeling than that. What kind of people want to become wrestlers here? We have guys in law enforcement, we have lawyers, we have construction workers. Pro wrestling is like an outlet. You come out of work and you're just looking forward to entertaining the crowd. I'm Lexa Rose, the ring queen. I talk like that, oh, you know, like how you So I try to be cute and conceited. One of my favorites would be the caveman. This guy will make you believe that it's 10,000 BC. I am the king of New York. And are you wrestling tonight? I most definitely am. We have a mercenary. He's very aggressive. Joe Smooth. He's all about the ladies. On the flip side, he's actually a plumber and construction worker. They do other things. They have their day job. But then they come and transform into something huge for the fans. What is it about this type of wrestling that you think interests so many people? Well, the fact that you can tell the story. The way the story is told is with our bodies. We are focused on the crowd, right? So you have to prove to the crowd that you're going to beat the bad guy. And sometimes that doesn't happen. And that's what keeps the fans coming back. Are you a good guy? I am a good guy. Okay. You like, feel like you'd be a good guy. <laughs> My dad was a wrestler, so wrestling was always in my life. He got sick, and I was supposed to debut here at the BWF, but that didn't happen because I got the news that he passed, so I had to fly out to Florida and miss my debut here, and then debut on the following show. And I had his figure on t-shirt, and it was like, uh, that's it, this is my legacy. When John's father passed away, he decided to throw himself into wrestling. Francisco, also known by his alter ego, Bronco, took John under his wing and taught him the nuances of the sport. This here is Bronco International. As John began to show more of an interest in filmmaking, he started to document the wrestling events thrown at the gym. Through a scholarship, the BWF was able to send John to college for filmmaking. John took an extended break from the ring, but is now starting to get back into it. Can you explain to me Frank versus Bronco? If you were into superheroes, you would understand the Clark Kent and Superman gimmick. The design of the mask becomes the identity. Does he ever take it off? Uh, in the area, not really. Only the people that wrestle know what he looks like. You're gonna bump? I have no idea what a bump is. Oh, okay. Well, a bump is a fall. Hey, um, could you give me a bump? That was an exaggerated bump, but it's a, it's a Lex exaggeration. <laughs> I don't think I could do that. I, like, I don't know if I could do a somersault like that. Why not that? No. Fuck. All right. What is the first thing that you have to learn? Yeah, the first thing is, as I said earlier, to have discipline. Then come the movements, like to move the cord, to do roll. For the most part, there are six or eight months that one needs to no, no, mucho más de ahí. Mucho más de ahí. As a kid, you watch superhero movies and you look up to these figures, these, these beings. So we tend to emulate that. We kind of fulfill that imagination. As soon as you come out through the curtain, you are a persona.